Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Just got to keep this video going. You want. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. I like Abe. I hope he doesn't die. He just seems like a swell guy. <gasps> so for Morgan? Can I? Oh, no, I'm sad. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Oh yes, I literally said the words. I literally said at the start, I miss Valentine and I'm, I kind of miss Sadie. Yes, we're getting to go to two rooms. I paid out if I miss Sadie. I like Sadie, she was like out to me. Out of John and Arthur, she was my favourite character. She's like my favourite non playable character. And you can tell John's beard's getting a bit longer. His hair's getting a bit longer too. He's starting to look like the old John Marston. Just make sure it's going the right way there. Abigail! I sort of packed away. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work. Oh, Jesus. Oh, in the next video we'll probably... Uh, I don't know if it came after the mic there, but I shouted that really loudly and I don't know why. But in the next video we'll probably go and see Sadie. I hope, anyway. 
She had, a, she had a feeling she was going to leave. Because she kept getting pissed off at me every time. Can I, ask, can I just ask a quick question? How is that any of John's fault? He got jumped. They came, they came to the farm and he tried to protect it to make sure he, he was able to get a job for him and his family. How the hell is any of this John's fault? He protected his son when he needed to. I think John's very noble. Eh, noble. I think he's very noble. That's the word I'm looking for. I mean, just created a word there. But John's very noble. He helped his son. He got them a job. He, he's doing it quite good. He's protected the farm. Saved lives. And his wife still leaves him. <laughs> Why? How is it any of his fault? Is that supposed to- I don't think that's supposed to go there, is it? I guess actually that one is anyway. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Go to the Geddes house. Okay, we're a few months on. I think I'm probably still on the same video. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could... Go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back.
How badass is that? Okay, we can go and see Eddie or say Eddie. What the fuck's Eddie? Can you start learning how to speak, man? I'm gonna fail at this YouTube thing. Okay, we need to start seeing Sadie. Or I assume that's the bank. Yes. Just looking around Valentine. Valentine. That's what Sadie is. Uh, Blackwater. Because I haven't really, I never really got a chance to explore it in the main story because well. As I said, you were dead or alive in that, you couldn't really get in it. I, I don't... I think we're still in part one of the epilogue. Wow. You're done. I just get attacked! What's part where he's winning? What's this place coming to? Ain't this nice? I won, like a boss. I'm letting him. Oh shit, crime reported. Oh, that is good equipment. I just wanted to look around and talk to you guys. Oh well. Okay, guys, let's try that again. Before I just got randomly attacked, we just head in. My health is very low, I know. Excuse me, sir. Can I, can I help you? Good day. Come on yeah. in. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Who's that? Where is that? Yeah, I got it. Just. Yeah, I'm about these $15. <laughs> it's not far. Just double check. I feel like I probably shouldn't have robbed him. He attacked me. I deserve some. I feel like he's no really, well, the horse is not really moving fast. Don't know if that's just me. Or maybe because it's uphill. I'm just a blind old fool. Don't be like me. Did he just shoot at me there? Does he seem so blind now, does he? Now, if 
that wasn't him who shot at me, I will apologize. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I don't know how long the I have absolutely no idea how long these epilogues are in those two. There's 104 missions in total, includes the main game and the epilogue. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Boom! Did it got really dull? Is they were talking, did they? I noticed that. Oh no. Thunderstorms. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now you sure about buying this place. It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you gonna... Oh, 
Follow me. You knew you were going to run into somebody in this past eventually. I believe it was Uncle. He was just always drunk most of the time. Is he actually. Yeah, he's on his way. West. West. Wait for me to catch up. Speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. 